Hey yo, what is up guys, Akash here back with another video. Today we have with us the Dragino LPS Laura Van Gateway and in today's video we'll be looking at how we can connect this particular gateway to the Helium network and we'll be configuring this gateway to become a light hotspot. I also have a, a LoRaWAN node with me. So this is basically a LoRaWAN beacon which is connected to the Helium network and it is just transmitting messages. So what we'll want to do is connect this gateway in such a manner so that any message that we transfer from the beacon, the LoRaWAN beacon gets uh, displayed in our uh, uh, helium console and that too without having a real miner so this will kind of uh, replicate the miner it will not it will just not be able to mine helium tokens on the proof of coverage concept but in the future helium plans to incentivize the data transfer as a packet forwarder that this is acting and uh, you yes you might earn helium coins based on the uh, data that you will transfer the beacons that you have basically the data credits that you spend using your beacons will be credited to, to your gateway account but please note this is in the beta version right now there's nothing finalized yet and it is and everything is subject to change having said that let's get started in configuring this particular light hotspot you can get your project and prototype pcbs manufactured and assembled professionally from pcbonline.com they are a one-stop solution for all your PCB needs and high-end volume productions. They have more than 20 years of experience and provide the best quality PCBs at great prices along with various other services. Do check them out for all your PCB needs from the link in the description box below and get $100 worth of free coupons. So I've done a video unboxing and setting this up to the Things Network previously do check that out from over here and it's the the interface is pretty simple so what we'll do is first we'll connect an ethernet cable over here and we'll connect a power cable that's a type c cable over here and that's it that's a job done and completed on the hardware side there's no real connections other than this that you need to make these are the led status and i'll kind of pop this to the side while now we'll be setting up this gateway using our laptop so that you are aware of what the led status is also note that you always need to have your lora antenna connected to your gateway all the relevant links and the software and the codes will be present on my github repository the link for the repository would be in the description box below so make sure to check that out as soon as you connect the dragino gateway to the uh, internet using the ethernet cable you can log on to your router page and find the local ip address of the gateway that we have over here so once you have that ip you just need to type in that IP along with a colon and 8000 that will open this particular uh, system overview page for you. You can see all green text. That's a good sign. For, but first of all, to onboard the LPS 8 to the Helium network, you need to make sure that your firmware is the latest one. So mine is right now the latest over here. If, if yours isn't the latest or uh, there are any other firmware updates that come after releasing the video make sure to update the firmware to do that You need to go to system and click on firmware upgrade over here You need to upload the firmware file which you can find on my github Which is this particular one the Dragino firmware, which is the latest as on today uh, There's a user manual of the gateway uh, that I've put over here as well but in case you uh, have want a different firmware or are watching the video pretty late, then in that case, you need to select your correct gateway from this particular link, which is LPS 8 for me. Once you're in LPS 8, you need to go to firmware, then go to release and download the latest release depending on the date code. So I have the latest release this one uh, in the GitHub repository over here. Once you've downloaded the binary firmware file, you need to go back to the uh, Dragino configuration page hit choose file button and select the binary file from your computer once you have selected the binary file you need to hit the upload button after pressing the upload button you need to be a bit patient for the other pop-up to appear once this particular pop-up appears with all these details filled up you need to hit the proceed button the firmware upgrade 
process will take around three minutes to do so and we'll observe the different uh, LED status over here. While the firmware updates, we can prepare for the next steps, which is that we need to download a couple of softwares that is PuTTY, which is for SSH uh, into your uh, Dragino gateway, which we'll use for installing softwares and such. And the other software is WinSCP, which will be used to transfer, copy files from the gateway to your computer very easily. Uh, both the software uh, setup files are also present in the GitHub repository of mine. Along with that, we need to install a software called Gateway RS, which is present on the Helium repository. Uh, so you can see over here the releases, the stable releases. The latest one is the 100 Alpha 9. I have a copy of this as well in the GitHub repository over here. You can go ahead and use this as well. But I would suggest you getting the uh, latest software from this particular repository and closely following this particular play page and repository. This particular Helium page uh, describes what essentially is a light hotspot and along with that the milestones that they have covered yet right now. Uh, the the data only hotspot that is the light hotspots are supported by the Dragino gateways and the curling gateway as well. So the the setup guide is pretty much similar. I've heard that rack wireless gateways are also supported. Uh, if you look in the gateway.rs releases, there are some other that is for Raspberry Pis as well. We will be focusing on the dragino.ipk file today. So once the firmware is updated, you can refresh this particular page and you will see the latest firmware over here and it should be all fresh and ready to go. Once you have this particular page, you need to head over to the LoRaWAN settings. Head over in service provider, click as a custom private LoRaWAN server address as 127.0.0.1 uplink port as 1680 and that stands the same for downlink port as well then click save and apply also make sure to select the correct frequency plan according to the region that you're in i am currently using the europe uh, 868 frequency plan you need to make a note of these five characters as well as we'll need this in later part of the video so once you've done this we need to open the putty software that we had installed earlier we need to type in the same ip address that is 192.168.0.186 then we need to specify the port as double two double two once you're through with that you just need to hit the open button it'll, it'll show a warning you can accept it the login uh, id would be root and the password would be dragino by default once you've done that you will see that you're inside the terminal all the commands and steps that we require will be in the github repository and the instructables and the links for the same would be in the description box below of the video first of all we need to copy this command paste it and run it over here once we're in the tmp folder we need to copy this particular command and run it on our uh, Dragino gateway. This will basically download the uh, version 1 alpha 9 Dragino IPK file. And uh, if you want to download a later version, make sure to update this particular link according to the version you have and update this particular name according to the version that you want to download. Once that is downloaded, you should see a download completed uh, message over here. Once that is done, you just need to install the same from here. Uh, all over here as well, you need to make sure if you're downloading or installing a later version, you change it accordingly. It takes a couple of minutes to install this. So once you see this particular command, it says that configuring Helium Gateway. This, this seems like it is done. You can uh, confirm if it's properly installed or not by copying this command, pasting it here and entering the run button over here. You will see the address of your gateway along with the three word, uh, three unique word name that your gateway has been randomly assigned. So that's interesting. My gateway has been assigned Merry Yellow Leopard. Now we need to do a small change for which I would be using WinSCP. 
I'll be hitting the new session over here also I would write the same IP address that I used for connecting change the port number as 2222 I'll hit the username as root password as Trigino file protocol needs to be selected as SCP and then I'll hit the login button it'll again show the warning potential I'll just click the skip button and there I am I will be in the root repository over here I need to go to etc over here then i need to head over to helium gateway i'll find these three one suggested thing is copying the key dot binary file to your local system so i've pasted this over here the key is basically the backup using which you if you earn any rewards on your gateway or if you want to use the same gateway name on the other gateway the key is something that's essential once that is done there are a couple of steps that you need to do open the default.toml file uh, the third line mentions region as 900 us 915 i need to change this, this according to my region that is eu 868 and i will copy this command over here close this and uh, save this as well on the settings file also i'll paste this particular command and save this so this is basically to tell the Helium Gateway RS software that okay we need to communicate over the 868 frequency band. Once that is done our role of win SCP is over as well. We just need to restart the gateway service. So I'll copy this particular command and paste it on the uh, PuTTY platform. Once that is done it will restart the Helium Gateway service. To check if the gateway is working fine or not we can use the logs uh, command and it, it shows the logs it shows that there are no warnings as such that I am able to see over here so that seems fine now to give the final test what we'll do is go over to the console that we have uh, note that to test any devices that is that are present with the light hotspots currently you need to use the staging console and not the normal helium console once you have set up a device to the staging console you need to copy the device eui app eui app key and things like that and configure the uh, LoRaWAN node i'll make a separate video on how to exactly configure a node like this to connect to the helium network once that is done i'll place it over here in the i button but right now this is pre-configured i'll just connect it to the power and it should be already sending out LoRaWAN messages right now which should be captured by the gateway that I have here and should be transferred to the Helium console that I have over here and voila that is what happens if I open the uh, debug mode over here so the first command that was received which was just received was a join request which was accepted once the accept request is uh, uh, received by the node that we have over here it will start transmitting packets so this is just a hello world type of a packet that we will be seeing so there you go we received and transmitted another packet as well another thing that we can do to confirm that if you are getting this correctly or not is to hover over here on any particular packet and you will see that it says a, a 33 byte packet was received by Mary Yellow Leopard if you remember this was the same name that we saw while we installed this the Mary Yellow Leopard so this is confirmed that this particular Dragino gateway is connected to the Helium network and is able to channel and forward the packets that are received from LoRa over here to the Helium console and that is how we set up this particular gateway even if you don't have any uh, helium miners present with you you can buy this particular uh, Dragino gateway which isn't very expensive when compared to the miners that are present around in the market and they are also very hard to get your hands on to and you can uh, develop your devices test them out with this particular gateway configuration uh, once you once you have tested your device you can move your device from the staging console to the main helium console and uh, deploy it in the real world to connect with the real miners obviously you won't be able to connect to the 
uh, beta testers over here but i suppose in the future once these things are stable the lora nodes that are configured on the normal console and not the staging console will be also able to connect to these uh, gateways so that is it guys for this video if you want more helium and lora one related stuff do let me know in the comment section below what do you want me to do next on the helium network thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now also hit the bell icon to stay notified this is our first signing off